This is on. Okay. All right, we have power. Guys, you got a great bird. A little top rudder, a little coupling, runs on 360. Okay, another note item. I need some kind of eye catching decoration on either the bottom or the top because this airplane becomes very, very hard to tell. Hey, Joe, can I throw some decals on there from the picture? We were, going to, we were going to put a flying double V on her somewhere. Okay, can we put a skull on her something? Sure, if you want. <laughs> Not a big one, just a little one someplace. Take a marker in. <laughs> your it's got to have the eight edge trade board. I'm doing skull and crossbones is fine. I'm big on that. <laughs> I have I have vinyl at home. Do you have an image file that one that's sitting in your katana? Uh, oh, I got a guy that can cut the vinyl small for that. I do. I do. I do. As a matter of fact, that's going to be. That'd be awesome. Okay, guys, I will tell you right now, she's a little sluggish on the controls. So we're getting to the point where we actually got to work her a little bit. Now, think hilarious because from the camera, it looked like we were going to collide with a bird. <laughs> yeah, I got that too. And I've been using mostly full power. Yeah, this flight has six softballs in it as well. Okay, guys, this is the completing the third lap. You're at two minutes. I'm at two minutes, good, so I have a little bit of headway to play with. Now, we're not doing the full thousand feet yeah. run out, but, you know, this is. Power off. All right, I still have elevator for it. All right, that's the complete. That's complete the third uh, lap. Aileron authority is still. One of them. Yeah, they're still. Oh, I know. Yeah, still. Okay, I'm coming off power, guys. Let's bring her around. Let's see what we got. Power is coming back. Back, back, back. Power off. Woo. <laughs> Here at three minutes. Alright, I want to shoot another one. Yeah, I did. factor of the wing loading as to why I have to use that much elevator at that power setting. So it, there's nothing you can do about it. The elevator is perfectly effective. The rudder's effective, the ailerons are effective. I just have to move her a little faster to keep her from mushing so Actually, you know what it is with the elevator and the wing loading? It's because of the pitching moment on this airfoil. Right. The more lift you have to produce, the worse it gets. That's that, yeah, because it, it goes up to, it's a very high pitch in the middle airflow. You know, I'm going to take that do? Tom tonight. I mean, it's, it flies nice, I would hate to see you 
arbitrarily change anything. Well, we found a better airfoil. It's just it takes so much time to change it. It'll take me less than I can do it by tomorrow morning. If that's why I do this afternoon. We can have the new airfoil for this thing ready to go. I don't know. <laughs> it's a sailing. It's it's actually a high lift airfoil that most other. It's a, it's basically almost exactly the same, except it doesn't have the pitching moment. It's a it's a it's a third generation one that they designed. We were planning to switch to it. We'll still have this bird anyway. We don't like the way it does. We just keep this one. But you would still maintain the same square inches. Everything would be identical except the airfoil would change to a 3021. Basically, I mean, it even. Okay, now you guys have stepped out of my realm where I'm comfortable. So if you think that would actually produce any usable, it would pull the pitching moment back to the, the two thirds or half of what it is right the now. The effect that it would have is. It should be exactly the same, except you'd have better ele uh, elevator effectiveness. At low speed. Well, I mean, the elevator it should, effectiveness is nice. It should pull, the mush, nice. it should pull mean, some of the mush out. At okay. One landing. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try it. You okay. have now moved beyond my knowledge base, so I'm going to take your word for it at that point. I'm just telling you what you're, yeah. you know, that's it. I mean, I think it'd be a cool experiment if we have the time to do it. As long as we don't smush this one, yes, sir. Because, I mean, we were going to build a second one anyway, and it'd be... Yeah, if that's actually... the case, then I would shoot for the different airfoil. Uh, I have a suggestion for you. Okay. Can you build it in a manner in which we could take advantage of this airframe and slide it into the same holes? We could. Just... Because your root match here is not critical. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well, not well. The issue is going to be the heights. The oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, but it's not, it's not going to dirty up the airplane. I mean, it's no, all you. No, no. Up. What I'm saying is, the spar structure is actually in here. Mm -hmm. It's going to depend on what the heights of that sailing airfoil are. I'm not sure if it's the same thickness or not at the positions, the thickness over chord ratios. If it doesn't match up here, the spar might not fit right in the plane. Right. So that that's the only thing I'll have to check. Right. Fair enough. But other than that, yeah, I could do that. 